Welcome everybody, it's K5 and today we're going to have a look at this. It's a box all the way from Jersey and yeah, look at that, tax has been paid. Let's check it out. I saved a load of time and I've uh, carved open the lid um, as you can see there and we'll have a quick scoop at the top. Oh my goodness me, there's a lot of toilet roll in here. So uh, we're going to unwrap each car individually and see what's inside. First of all, nothing in that piece of toilet paper. Let's see what it is. As you know, uh, this is uh, from Stephen, otherwise known as Matchbox Hunter. Whoa, straight in there with what can only be described as a Stevie Custom. Look at that. That's the, uh, the shiniest ever uh, Scooby-Doo wagon ever. Now let's, uh, let's have a look at the base of that. Yeah, I think it's the... Uh, What's it called again? Oh goodness me. <laughs> the mystery machine, that's right. Yeah, look at that. Flipping hell, that is super shiny. What a gem. Should be on top of somebody's cigar box, that one. Okay, we'll stick it back there. I'm just gonna go through the first few here just to see what we've got on the top. Wow, look at look at the shine on that. What is that? And where does it come from? Obviously it's some sort of Carmen Gaia. God, it's amazing. It's got opening opening boot details. That's a beauty. Wow, is it a Maisto? Yes, it is. The Carmen Gaia. 1966 Carmen Gaia. That's beautiful. Wow. Look at those lovely rims on it, too. That's how a rim should be for this sort of car. That's just awesome. Love it. Thank you very much. Um, yes, yeah, been uh, been a while since Steve sent me a parcel. Um, I wasn't expecting a parcel. I do know that he's shifting and getting rid of lots of his Hot Wheels. Oh, my word. Look at the shine on that getting rid of lots of his Hot Wheels at the moment because he's focusing on his uh, collection of uh, Matchbox Superfast. Now that there looks to me like a Brazilian Dodge Charger, I would say, without the paint. Goodness me, what a shine. Now, I believe he uses um, like a, a special polish, uh, proper car polish on these things. And uh, he was uh, got through a lot of cloth. Oh, there's another one. Look at this. There's that Datsun. Oh, you can if you look carefully you can see me there having a bad hair day look at that car oh, what a shine what a nugget little zamac nuggets cool flipping it okay here we go again another one and what's in here oh, another zamac nugget this looks like an ae86 the toyota crikey they're like bullets aren't they they're amazing look at that Wow, what are we going to do with these man? You can put them down the middle of the road and use them as uh, special things at night time to stop people from crossing the lanes, they're so bright. Oh look at this one, that's a, that's a very nicely done one actually, the uh, the silver engine works so well on that. Wow, that is uh, looks to me like a passing gasser or something like that, loosely based on, people say it's a Ford, so we're going to go with the Ford concept idea there for that one. I always thought it was a Chevy, but uh, looking at the back end there, it's got lots of Fordery about it. A sort of 1940s Ford. Beautiful piece. Beautiful. Let's see what else we got here. Oh my word. There we have uh, Dom's Charger. But this one's more of a, look at that. Silver on silver with silver. And we've got, if that had a silver base, that would just be silver perfection. Crikey, look at that. Wow. There I am. Hello. <laughs> that is amazing. I do like that one, actually. That's very, very cool. I like them, I like them all so far, Stephen. Wow. Goodness me. Oh, my word. It's the infamous Silver Batmobile. Now, I remember when Stephen did this one, this actually created quite a stir in the uh, customising community. Yeah, everybody wanted to get one of these, and this is the original. What a th what a thing! Wow, we you you could probably benefit really to this. Give this uh, the little red stripes that it so justly deserves, but maybe that would detract away from that uh, that magnificent uh, sheen. Look at it! Wow, I'm gonna run out of descriptive terms here for all this shininess. 
wonder what we've got in here. This one feels really super shiny as well, and it is. It's a super duper shiny Subaru. Wow. Look at that. Crikes. Wow, there it is, look. An another great model when it came out, and still in the lineup. Still enjoying uh, recolorings. Definitely one of uh, Hot Wheels' better moments there. That's a really nice little model, actually. But desperately collecting lots of the uh, the earlier castings um, or variations of this one. Um, don't seem to have found the latest one yet, though. But still, you never know. I probably will pick it up if I see it. What a beauty! I'm going to get my fingerprints all over these. I can't believe there's so many of them. Wow, the Screamliner, aka Shearliner, and this one here has been uh, stripped bare and actually looks really, really good like that. That Art Deco styling, yeah, really coming into its own here with this uh, silver aspect. Flipping heck, that's amazing. Now, what do I have to do to look after these, Stephen? Do I have to get myself a, a tin of Brasso and uh, get rubbing because I'll tell you what these things are super duper shiny let's have a look what else we've got here it's gonna be a long video folks so here we are again this is a Maverick I believe is it but oh no V8 Vega I always get my Vegas and my Mavericks mixed up wow look at that flipping it every single uh, blemish almost polished out of this one wow this is like uh, the Zamax collection for the UK. We don't get Zamax here. So it looks like Steve decided to make his own. And didn't he do well? What a lovely collection. Oh, that's a beauty. Now th this really is a gem. Wow. Oh, that is lovely. The uh, the lines there on the, the Fiat 500 coming up very nicely indeed with that bobbly effect that the, uh, the lack of paint gives it. So shiny. What a beauty. What else have we got here? Stephen's been super busy. Goodness knows what you do with all the, the sludge of uh, dead paint. Oh look, here's an unusual one. I actually didn't get one of these in my collection for some reason. I kind of got one and then I nearly didn't get one. And there it is, the little pedally pusher thing. What's it called again? Pedal driver, that's it. It's even got holes in the bottom. Isn't there? Oh, I've never seen one before. It's got pedals as well, look for your feet. Should you be that small? Mouse, mouse sized pedal car that's awesome I wonder if you can get like a minifig in there probably could actually if you tried hard enough very cool indeed well I right, we'll must finish the top layer and I'm going to take the box away mm, oh yeah I know this one it's the Ford um, it's like an, um, a uh, racing car of some sort the Chevy Impala of course it is yeah there it is. Wow, no door lines at all. How do they get into these things? You must have to climb in through the window, I suppose. Incredible. Look at that. Pure smoothness. Unless they, uh, the driver sits down and they lower the body over the top of them. Look at that. Wow. Sheer. Absolutely sheer. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to come back to this video again in a minute. Here we go then. What we got here? What's this one? Whoa, look at this. Crikey. Looks like uh, some sort of Dodge truck, is it? A Ford F-150. Oh, right, okay. Lifted F-150. The race winning car. Wow. Wow, what do you do with all these cars when you've, uh, when you've um, polished them and stripped them? I guess you send them to, to your buddy in England. What's this one? Let's have a look. Okay, this one doesn't look as stripped and polished. It looks stripped. This is a Studebaker, I believe. 63 Studebaker. Doesn't say anything on the bottom, but hey, we know what that is. Actually does look does look good. Nice bed cover on there. But that's a standard issue. Cool piece. Cool piece. Would like uh, would like a whole load of those in my life. Would like a real one actually, and a Studebaker. Actually, I quite like the Studebaker ideas on the front there with the front design. Oh, there's another piece. Oh yes. I can't remember what this one's called exactly. I remember it coming out though. Yeah, no name on the bottom. It's got no name. 
but this thing looks like it lifts and it doesn't but basically it's a mobile workshop of some sort yeah there it is actually those flat sides work well with the polishing aspect what else have we got here let's kind of guess that car isn't it We're flipping at that is that chromed that is just too too shiny that is super shiny what's going on with this one it's got metal base Oh, it's supposed to be like that. It's the Chevy, isn't it? Ah, oh, right, of course. Yeah, these things have got a plastic body, isn't it? They're little racing cars. Mmm, inspiration. Inspiration for all this shininess. I've never seen so much shinery. Goodness me, it's like being uh, at, the, at a show for, uh, for the knights of old with their shiny armour. I mean, look at this thing. It's another one of those uh, shiny cars. This is an actual piece that's supposed to be shiny as well. A chromey. Wow. Again, it's got a plastic body, I believe. Very nice. Probably another another impala of sorts. This is uh, this is shinetastic. Oh look! Wow. Is this another F one fifty? Good chance it looks like a Ford. Two fifty lift. Toyota. Toyota Tundra, of course, of course. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is huge. Huge! And super shiny. Wow. Crikey, Steve. How many tins of polish did you get through to do this lot? This is amazing. What have we got next? Oh, look, this one actually looks like it's supposed to be like that as well. This is the uh, 57 Chevy. Again, a chromey. Super chrome, probably, possibly. I'm not sure. The wheels on it don't look old enough to be uh, from the super chrome, so it must have been a later release with all these uh, chrome pieces. Almost they've got plastic bodies. Okay, next one. Guess that car. Here we go. So far, as one hadn't got. Oh yes, and that's a DeLorean. That does look good. Looks lovely and uh, all shined up like that. Almost looks like the real thing. Was well, although the real thing is a kind of a duller aluminium, but uh, they're still pretty shiny for what they are. There it is, Delorean. Interesting how they write Delorean in the uh, in the correct script on the bottom there as well. Most of the pieces it's just written on in uh, standard issue uh, capitals. Oh, there's another 55. No, sorry, 57. This one feels like a, a metal bag, no? Metal base, metal body. Is it the same as the other one? Nope. Wow. So take on a theme here. Both identical bases on them. But different colour glasses. Very interesting. Cool.